Hello everyone, um, this is a video this week where I'd like everyone to get involved. So regardless of what year group you're in, what class, um, everyone's going to do the same challenge this week. What I thought would be lovely is just to finish off at the end of the year with a large collaborative piece of artwork. And what that basically means is every one of you will have a part to play. So you'll all create a piece of art and then collectively we'll put them all together to make one giant piece of artwork. So the reason I've thought about this is um, this week I've been spending some time looking at one of a uh, famous artist called Paul Clay. You can Google him, he's a um, Swiss-born German artist, um, kind of well known for doing more abstract style, almost look childlike drawings um, did a lot of work on colour theory um, he's just a fascinating guy and some of his artworks really interesting to look at I've got a couple of examples here just to show you how different his style is um, so you've got this abstract painting here honestly I don't know what the picture is meant to be but I just love the colours I love the shapes and the forms um, so that was one of his abstract pieces and then completely different style you've got a piece here which is um, a line drawing I think it might be a print actually um, and you can see it's of a, a room of some description and you've got the lines going off into the distance gives it that sense of perspective um, but again totally different style but it's got that innocence, that childlike style about it. Um, I just think it's fascinating. So he's our inspiration for this week. And one of his famous quotes that he said, which again, I love, is um, a dot is just a line going for a walk. And when you stop and think about it, some people are quite nervous about drawing um, because they're scared of getting it wrong or making a mistake. But actually, there's nothing to fear because all it is is a dot on a page that you're walking around the paper with your pen or pencil. And so I just want you to keep that in mind whilst you're doing this little challenge. Um, I want you to be expressive. So what I mean by that is don't be fearful of anything that you draw. Just draw whatever comes into your head, okay? Um, so let me just show you what I want you to do so you've got a clearer idea of what we're talking about. So I'm going to give each of your class teachers a set of these sheets. So it's just got your name and class at the bottom and then it's got a square drawn out for you. And the square, if for some reason you don't get given the piece of paper or you misplace it, you can still join in with us because you just need to draw a box which is 16 centimetres by 16 centimetres okay get a grown-up or um, sibling or parent to help you with that if you're struggling so it's just a box 16 by 16 and then halfway down so eight centimetres down on that side and um, draw a little mark and then same on this side eight centimetres down draw a little mark on that side okay so the idea is that you are able to draw anything you like so long as it stays within the box Okay, you can't go outside the box because we're going to cut these out. You have to start on this side. So whatever drawing equipment you choose to use, it could be pen, pencil, um, marker pen, sharpie, pencil crayon, wax crayon, whatever you've got, literally anything you've got at home, um, you're going to take a dot for a walk around the box. So what goes on in here is entirely up to you. So long as it starts there, you draw your picture. Try to do it without taking your pencil or pen off the paper. Um, and then it finishes over here. Okay, so you're taking your dot for a walk around the box. So I'll do an example, but I don't want you to copy mine. I really do stress that I just want you to draw whatever you feel. So it could be your emotions that you're feeling on a particular day. If you're having a happy day, maybe the lines will be quite wiggly and swirly. If you're in a bad mood, maybe the lines will be very dark and thick and spiky. Um, maybe you'll choose the colours dependent on your mood. So if you're feeling happy, you might choose really vibrant, bright colours. 
Um, similarly, if you're not in a good mood, then maybe you'll choose darker colours or red if you're angry. Um, be inspired as well by the things that you look at around you. So if you're doing this at home on Friday, um, set yourself up a little place to draw, but maybe in front of some objects or in front of a window. So you might want to draw the view outside the window or you might want to draw the objects in your living room or your bedroom. It's um, really entirely up to you. The choice is endless, okay? So I'll do an example, but as I said, really don't want you to copy this. This is just um, what's currently going on in my head, okay? So um, I'm looking across at the art room wall and I can see, for any of you that have been in here, um, I've got my drying rack in front of me over there. So it's um, a drying rack is where I put all the, the wet paintings when my class have done them their artwork and it's got a shape which is a bit like a grid so I'm just gonna copy it but in a very abstract way and if you're not sure what abstract means it's just a really it's a series of lines and shapes um, you're not trying to make something look exactly like it is in real life it's just your interpretation Okay, so I'm just using a Sharpie pen. Notice something as well. I haven't taken my pen off the page. So I'm actually crossing back over some of the lines. So then I'm going to go this way as well. Because my drawing rack, I'll just show you actually. I'm looking over at that view. Can you see that drawing rack over there against the wall? Oh, that's quite interesting. I've left the pen on the paper a bit too long and it's made a big inky blob but I quite like it okay so I'm going to crisscross that over this way you're probably thinking what on earth is Miss Lawrence doing but I love that look at that shape it's really unusual and then over here on the wall I've got um, some artwork which year three did so instead of obviously drawing in detail what each picture looks like I'm just going to look at the shape of the picture so I've got boxes that go like this see I'm still keeping my pen on the paper I'm not stressing about if it's straight or using a ruler and then I've got the pipes from the central heating going across the wall there and then I've got my chair which goes at the back I've got my coat over it so it looks Bit of a strange shape but I'm going to join now do you remember the one of the rules was to wherever you finish it's got to be on that line there so you have started over there I've finished over there and this is what I've created in the middle okay it's your choice now what you do with this I, I'm going to leave mine like that because I just think there's something really nice about the shapes and the patterns that I've created with the lines um, also, I do like drawing in pen because it's um, obviously something that you can't rub out or change. So you just have to go with it. You just have to um, kind of be fearless, if you like, with the material and just have a go. Um, so you can use whatever equipment you want. When you've done it, um, if you're really, really neat at cutting out, you can cut out the square for me and write your name on the back of the square. But equally, I'm just as happy for you to hand them back into me, um, just with your name and class at the bottom, and then I will um, cut them all out on the paper cutter so they're nice and neat. Um, so I'll leave that decision to you. Um, hand them back into your class teacher. I'll collect them all up. And then the idea is that when we've got them all, I'll just show you some that I did this morning. So this one, I was looking at um, some leaves that I'd picked up. So you can see the spiky shape of the leaves, that side. And then I just let my pen wander and do a kind of zigzag pattern. And then this one, similar to the one I just showed you, I was sat at my desk and I drew the view so I could see the art room doors, which were, one of them was slightly open, the other one closed. And then I've got the, the light switch there and then the line just carries on and finishes at the side. You, I even quite like the fact my pen was running out a little bit so part of it is quite light and faded. 
And then this one, just match up the lines again, is um, using gold pen. And I've just literally taken the pen for a walk around the paper. And it's given me this really unusual um, pattern, which it reminds me of, if you've ever seen um, coral that's under the sea, it reminds me a lot of that, or seaweed or something like that. Um, very organic, very very much like um, a plant that's overgrown. Um, so there's the one I've just done. As you can see, I would cut that out and I would line up that line next to that one. So the idea is that collectively, all together, we're going to create a huge um, piece of art which is one line that just carries on and on and on and on and on. Um, we'll see how big we can make it as well and we'll put it up on display around the corridors um, and let's see how it looks. So as I said earlier, that one, I'm happy with it as it is, but you might choose to get some colouring crayons then and just pick out some shapes and start to colour them in. Um, have a look at Paul Clay's work on Google. He, um, he spells his last name K-L-E-E. -E. So it's pronounced clay, but it actually looks like clay. So when you type it in, um, it's Paul uh, and then K-L-E-E. -E. Um, and that might give you some inspiration as well. But please just have a go. And remember the um, quote, drawing is just taking a line for a walk. Okay, good luck.